life and we die off before the wife. That's why the wives tend to live longer and they are the beneficiary of their husbands. So men die off quicker than the, the women, which leads to more women on earth. And traditionally, culturally, historically, biblically, men have always had multiple wives, multiple baby mamas, if you will. But here's the thing. Is it healthy for our community and society? And according to this poll, and I agree with the poll, no. It's a lot of dysfunction because you don't have the time to spend with your children. And I don't want, me personally, I don't want this house, this house, this house. Just dealing with multiple women is already hard enough. Then you got different households. You know, and that's just absolutely nuts, especially in these day, in these days and time, especially how expensive things are, especially how uh, crazy the world is. I need to be up with my babies 24-7. I don't have any kids, but if I had kids, I'm on their ass 24-7. I'm checking cell phone. You here with me. I'm on your hip. Not give them some leeway. They got to grow. It's not healthy to be around your kids all the time. They need to be around kids, you know, but. I'm going to be very involved because I, I'm the one influencing. I'm the protector. I'm the provider. I'm the one. I have a idea of how I want my kids to be raised and I need to be there. So even if I was rich, you're still bouncing home to home. It's a lot of dysfunction. See, on the surface, it seems like they got everything all figured out and they don't. Because behind the scenes, anytime you're dealing with just the women, let me even get to the children, just the women and their attitudes and their needs and their wants. They're going to tend to get jealous. One woman's going to feel like you're doing more for the baby mama. And now she's in her feelings. She feel like you're not catering to the children enough. Now she's in her, she's in her feelings again. This baby mama, you know, she really wants to marry you. And she's riding you every day. Why are we not getting married? It's That's a lot of chaos. That's a lot of chaos. Let's see. Cheyenne Bryan, how long has she been adopted? Let's see. She wrote some books. Education, University of Phoenix, California State University, Northridge. California has a lot of colleges and a lot of prisons, too. <laughs> Shout out California. California going through it right now. California, I don't think it'll be no more in the next 10 years. If they sign that uh, $150,000 bill for the migrants, I don't think they're going to last. But let's see her. Credential. Oh, here we go. Dr. Cheyenne Bryant. Oh, she got a professional website. Um, she got some testimonies. So she's legit. She has a contact, Dr. Bryant at Gmail, 323. So coaching program, book a session, meditation. And Cam Newton got a free lesson in my book. Cam Newton has got a free 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 lesson on here he got a not a lesson a free well a lesson and a session from dr cheyenne bryant she's pretty much saying nigga are you dumb or what how old is cam newton let's see how old cam newton is i think he's he's still young he's only 35. he's only he's only 35 but that's old and far as maturity so you got to remember, he's been out of high school 17 years. You've been, it's, I mean, it goes by fast, but you're 35, bro. Now, that's young compared to her because she's 41, but you're still trying to make more babies. Hey, no, hey, you can do what you want. That's his money. But we're just thinking about the kids because if you didn't have the money, where would they be? But even if you have the money or don't have the money, I feel that, you know, you should have all your kids from one woman under one house and y'all just move along. Uh, it's like, it's like... It's like blacks, I can't even say black, I just think America, I think we just can't sit still. I think we got to just keep it moving. We humping, we drinking, we smoking, we causing riots, people getting killed every day. I mean, we like we can't just sit down, especially black people, especially black men, can't just sit down, focus on one goal, uh, complete the objective, excel, pass on the knowledge to our kids and uh, have a foundation so they don't have to struggle like we did. Can, can black folk just sit down for a little while? Can black folk just sit down? Especially the men. Cause I got to put pressure on the men because we are the leaders. I go hard on women, not because I want them to follow, because they need to follow us. One of the black women say, uh, why do we need to follow black men? Y'all ain't building nothing. 